Hi squaddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel to another video to another article with me, your girl Doreen. So buckle up and let's take this ride. Um the title of this video's article is Prince Harry regrets his unwise decision. Um what decision specifically? Anyway, let's dive deeper and see what the article has to say though. I highly, highly, highly think that this is just another, another article full of lies. But let's dive deeper, my guys. Um, Prince Harry broke many hearts with his surprise decision. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle sent shockwaves around the world when the couple announced that they would step down as working royals after spending six weeks away in Canada in 2020. Well, yes, obviously at first it was very shocking, but once we knew what was actually happening behind the scenes, what was happening on the sideline, yeah, we are like, yes, you guys, this was the best move that you could have made, you know? And um, even considering the fact that we know they tried all they could to remain working royals while not, you know, remaining in, in, in the UK, you know, they did everything that they could, they could be able to do to remain as working royals, you know? But the institution was like, if you guys ain't here, now we, we 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 are not you're not going to be working but we know that harry came and megan came with an absolutely amazing idea you know harry had even talked to his father about it and his father was like yes let's let's go with it let's try it but when it was brought on the table before everyone the decision um the um, the suggestion was rejected and so the only move for harry and megan to make at that point was for them to leave the uk and go start an independent life for themselves um in another land you know um it was harry's life biggest regret that he announced his decision to step down from the institutional role without consulting with the queen um we know that harry has had um, a very strong relationship with his grandmother. He had a very close relationship with his grandmother. He had a very open relationship with his grandmother and a very respectable one for that matter. So I don't believe that um, 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 the queen just found out just like, wow, you know what grandmother i'm leaving you know without them having a one-on-one -on -one talk you know without um the queen listening to why harry was doing all that he was doing no that that obviously did not happen um i don't think he fully appreciated the impact the statements would have in terms of them not consulting the queen he regrets that a source said and i'm like you know there's, there's the wording sometimes consulting the queen um they talked to the queen you know obviously they they told her harry told her that this is my decision considering you know point a b c and d this is why i am doing whatever i am doing and i hope grandmother that you are going to support me you know or what do you think about that decision because it's not like they were technically consulting you know they had thought through this whole thing you know they had because it was um something that was directly affecting harry's family it was something that you know whatever was going on in the palace at that ma time the british media um being scrutinized you know at every corner whatever they are, they do they are being scrutinized you know all the lies that you know were being spread around harry and megan at that point you know the fact that Harry and Meghan could no longer even trust the royal family to support them in this war against the British media. The fact that the royal family, some of the royal family members, were the ones supplying the information to British media, the lies to the British media. You see, Harry and Meghan were no longer at a point where they could trust their supposed family. You know, so this was something that was directly affecting them, directly affecting Meghan, directly affecting Archie, and of course, directly affecting Harry. So it was their decision to make, you know. So what they could have done was come forward to the queen, tell her, you know what, this is what we have decided to do after, you know, con considering 
A, B, C, D. You know, this is how A, B, C, D has been affecting us. And we have seen that the, the most favorable decision for us at this time is to move, is to exit the royal roles and go build a family for ourselves somewhere else. I believe that's how Harry came to his grandmother, you know, talking to him directly as a grandmother, not even as a queen, as a grandmother. Um, William's younger brother, who had blindsided um, his grandmother with the announcement, broke many hearts with his surprise decision. Again, Harry did not blindside his grandmother. You know, the kind of relationship that these two had, you know, we all saw how, um, how her death affected Harry. So this kind of relationship that they had, Harry did not blindside her. Um, King Charles, Prince William and Kate reportedly cried in silence to mourn the exit but vowed to keep their morals up to serve the nations with the same spirit. What? <laughs> what? They, they, they reportedly did what? Cried? Oh my god. <laughs> I highly doubt. I highly doubt. I highly doubt. I bet there was someone who was celebrating somewhere in the corner. Though at some point it can be reasonable that they cried about Harry's, you know, exit because they didn't think that that's what they, they you know, Harry was going to do. They thought that the more they pushed Meghan, you know, pushed her to the corner, pushed her to the ground, you know, dragged her through the mud, dragged her through the lies, you know, the more they supported the British media that Meghan would give up. On Harry and asked for the for a divorce. They literally wanted to drive Megan out of out of the family, but shock on them, shock on them, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, Harry was committed to this woman more than they thought. Apparently, Megan was committed to this man more than they thought. Apparently, these two guys, these two lovebirds, were more committed to their relationship and the dream of the family they wanted more than anyone thought. So probably they were like, oh my god, we, we completely made the wrong move. But I wouldn't say they mourned. Because at the same time, they were like, oh, at least she's gone. We can have all the popularity to ourselves. Because that's what they wanted. We all know that they wanted to be the most popular royals. And Harry and Meghan being, being working royals at that time was obviously, um, was obviously, um, putting their popularity in danger. Because we all know that Harry and Meghan were the most loved royals at that point. You know, everyone loved them and everyone loves them. You know, uh, everyone who doesn't believe the lies that the British media keeps spreading day in day out loves Harry and Meghan. So no, I don't think these guys cried in mourning. No, 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 no. Perhaps they, they might have felt a slight regret, but no, 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 no. I wanted to say they felt a slight regret, but these guys are literally the, the most cold-hearted individuals. So no, no. Um, the late queen called an urgent family meeting, now known as the Sandringham Summit, to discuss the situation. After the meeting, the late monarch issued a statement. Here, here, look, you know, I at some point I can admire, you know, Queen Elizabeth because she was not only the queen, but she was a grandmother to Harry. Listen to this. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved members of my family. You see, in spite of the decision that they have made, yes, probably this is not what I would have hoped for them to do, but because they have decided to do this, well, I support them and they will always have a place in my heart. You know, I wish all the royals followed in her footsteps, said, you know what, you know what? They have made a different decision, but we are here to support them, you know, but for them to do that, you know, it has to have started from the beginning, you know, it has to have started with them supporting Harry and Meghan from the beginning, you know, it has to has, have started with them not sharing lies with the British media, you know. 
Um, she also um, appeared supporting the couple's desire for a more independent life with her words as she acknowledged the difficulties they had faced due to intense public scrutiny as royal. So look at this, this woman, you know, look at this lady and you obviously have to respect her and you can see why, why Harry adored and still adores her so much. You see, she is a woman who understands situation in her capacity as the queen and in her capacity as a grandmother. She understood that, you know, the public scrutiny had to be had on Meghan, you know, especially with the many lies being spread about her. It has it had to have been had on her. But after relocating to the US, Harry and Meghan generated a lot of media storms and dropped several bombs on the palace. Now, as source has claimed, Harry is desperate to return to the royal fold and regretting his unwise decision. Well, Mr. Source, I doubt, I highly doubt because you know, the, the royal fault has not changed. They are the same people that are hungry for power and popularity and will do anything to make sure they are the most popular people. You know, they will drag anyone through mud. They will drive anyone to the edge of their life just to become the most popular people. So no, I don't think Harry is ready to go back to the royal fault because those people have not changed, you know from the day that he left you know the the royal roles to today those people have not changed they are still the same people and until they change until they decide to do things differently well that's when harry might have might think you know might even consider going back there anyway until the next episode bye bye